All right, welcome everyone. Um, I wanted to say thanks for, for joining today. My name is uh, Cliff Oliver. I'm supporting um, the Adventure Cycling team this year with Bike Travel Weekend. Um, I'm originally from um, Southern Maine area and in the past, I have um, been, a, been a ride leader and, uh, and participated in Bike Travel Weekend and uh, Bike Your Park Day and um, I've been a big fan and, and member of Bike, um, Adventure Cycling Association for uh, several years and uh, wanted to uh, thank everyone for, for joining today and learning more um, a little bit about um, Bike Travel Weekend and, and the, um, the purpose of it and uh, just getting some information to all of you about uh, how to join a ride and register for a ride. So um, it's a little bit about me. We have uh, two other presenters with us um, tonight. So um, I'll hand it over to Devin. Hi everyone, my name is Devin. My pronouns are she, her. I am residing on the ancestral lands of the Muskogee Creek Nation, today known as Atlanta, Georgia. I'm an advocate for BIPOC folks in cycling. Um, I can, I guess now I'll call myself an adventure cyclist. Um, I manage a local bike packing group for femme, trans women and non-binary riders in Atlanta. And I'm a member of the Radical Adventure Riders Gravel Team. Um, I've been fortunate to partner with Adventure Cycling since last year, leading a uh, ride leader pilot program, doing some outreach to communities of color to expand ACA's network of riders. So we asked a group of experienced BIPOC folks who are bike packers to lead small groups for Bike Travel Weekend, giving them a small stipend to help offset some food and camping costs to take friends out on some short trips. And this was all aimed at expanding bike travel to be more accessible and inclusive. And we're continuing the effort this year for Bike Travel Weekend um, to broaden AC's reach. So if you're interested or know anyone who is, please feel free to let me know. I have put my IG, um, my Instagram handle um, here. So would love to chat with folks who are interested or connect to anyone that you may know. Corinna? Hey all, uh, my name is Corinna Woolman. I use they, them pronouns. I currently live in Washington, DC, the ancestral lands of the Anacostans. I am Ecuadorian American. I am a video editor, um, a junior bike mechanic, a community ride organizer and cycling instructor, and also a Greg Seipel recipient um, from uh, Adventure Cycling Association. And I'm so happy to be here with you all, um, yeah. Thanks, Rena. Um, Eva, did you want to say anything before we get started? I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't introduce you. Um, well, in, since you're asking, um, I guess I will. I wasn't planning on it, but I'm just really excited to see everybody here and looking at all the comments. And um, it looks like this initiative, Bike Travel Weekend, is gonna be um, a really great way to get people out on a bike overnight and supporting all of you. So I'm excited to see so many people uh, as part of this Zoom event today. And um, just, I'm sure you're gonna go over this cliff, but I just really encourage people to go to biketravelweekend.org and either add a ride themselves or join another ride that's open to the public because it's a great way to explore your local area by bike and make connections in your community with other people who love to travel by bike. Thank you, Eva. Great. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and uh, we'll, we'll get started. So from the comments, um, many of you have said you've, you know, this is kind of your first uh, bike travel weekend and um, you just, you know, being interested in it. And so just give you, want to give you some background um, about bike travel weekend and, and kind of the, the purpose is, is really just to encourage people um, to, to get out this weekend that, that coincides with, um, uh, I think it's National Trails Tril Day, right? Um, and, and you just get out in the outdoors, especially I think now with, uh, with COVID-19 and just people have been cooped up and, um, you, you know, not being able to really get out and ride. And just now that we're being able to, to reconnect and um, get out there in the, um, in nature and, and ride. So encouraging people of all ages and abilities to participate, um, connect with one another, connect with other participants, other riders, and just build a community and really promote bicycle tourism 
um, across the U.S. And so uh, Bike Travel Weekend is really meant to be uh, everything from the, the weekend rider rookie um, that has never really done an adventure ride but really wants to, to, to be able to register their own ride or join a ride of their own, uh, or excuse me, uh, join a ride of somebody else's and just kind of tag along and uh, learn a little bit. Um, uh, there's a term called credit card camping uh, where you... <laughs> Where, uh, bike packing, where you just you, know, you ride and uh, you stay at a hotel or um, you, you know even even at home, just do a loop or something. So everything from from that end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum, where you're full on self supported adventure riding uh, for miles and miles on uh, you know the train of your choice um, and self supported. So both ends of the spectrum and, and everything in between. So that's that's really where um, bike travel weekend is is such a great uh, opportunity to participate in because you have the ability to do that. Um, so the, the, the first, uh, I'll point us to uh, Venture Cycling um, Association's page, go to experience and then Bike Travel Weekend is there. The main just information page is here. I'm sure many of you um, have, have gone to the, to the site already and, and kind of poked around a little bit, but um, all the links to join and, and some of the links that we'll be talking about tonight uh, over here on the right hand side. So now I'd like to turn it over to Devin and just speak about um, your experience in, in your ride as a, as a ride leader and, and talk a little bit about that, please. Yeah, I also will say that um, this can include glamping. Corinna and I did a trip um, a few weeks ago where we loaded our bikes with some friends and um, packed everything up went to a campsite and did a lot of loops around the campsite and spent the night under the stars. So you still can do all forms of uh, bike travel. So don't feel like it needs to be an epic, you know, far mountainy overnight. So just want to put a plug there. Um, and the second thing I want to say is that registering for um, your trip for Bike Travel Weekend is incredibly um, user-friendly and easy. This took me all of five minutes. Um, and so I just wanna encourage folks to kind of play with the site and, and look around, but also um, eliminate you know any barriers to figuring it out. Um, so thank you Adventure Cycling for making this accessible. Um, so when you go to the website, um, you'll have to log in. If you have an account, if you don't have an account, you'll need to create one. Um, if you scroll down there, um, yeah, so I had an account, so I logged in um, and you'll need to plug in your name, address, your location, that kind of thing. Um, you don't have to have the route in high detail, um, the route that you're planning to go on. I had a, a link to ride the GPS, but I didn't need to use it. Um, it was a route that I'm familiar with, so I just um, plugged in some details describing the route that you don't have to drop in a link. So um, hopefully that's, you know, eliminate some intimidation there. Um, uh, can you scroll down a little bit more? Uh, so fill this out here. Um, you would fill out your address, where you're located, zip code, phone number, um, how you heard about this. I'm sure most of you heard it. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> receiving more information, I'm jumping ahead. Um, the title of the trip, I titled my trip, just the name of the area. So my trip is in Cochran Mill Park, which is outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so I named it Cochran Mill Park Overnight, um, and it starts from Atlanta, um, one of the train stations. Um, so I just wrote that there. And then um, if you scroll down a little bit here, um, you have to plug in your location um, just so that they can get it. So on the map, I typed in Atlanta, Georgia, and then it, it pins there. Um, and then this is where you describe the detail of the route. So uh, my route was is Saturday and Sunday um, and out and back, 34 miles each way. And that for me, as I said, it's a route I'm familiar with. So it's great to take new friends on or people who are newer to bikepacking. And I wrote out some descriptions of the trip. You'll see my trip um, in a little bit when Corinna goes through um, their process. But um, I did 34 miles each day. So a total of 68 miles. <laughs> Um, and I kept my um, group to six people just because I think that allows for um, management for new riders. It's a little bit, um, to me, feels safer, more comfortable for new folks for um, me to sort of navigate needs on a trip. Um, and the route that I did, as I said, it's 34 miles. There was um, to Cochran Mill Park. It's uh, 10 miles of, about 10 miles of dirt and gravel, and the rest is on pavement. 
Um, and then my route was not actually on um, trails. So I selected no for the National Trails Day piece here. I am intimately familiar with adventure cycling. So um, I checked social media here, but um, anyway that you've heard about it, um, that's a great tool for adventure cycling to um, collect some information when they um, have data on the folks who participated in um, bike travel weekend. And then making your route public allows for folks to search for your ride and um, in the area that they're in if they wanna go on a trip. Um, one thing I also wanna know is that the great part about Bike Travel Weekend is that Adventure Cycling has done most of, almost all of the work for you in terms of preparation. So they have toolkits, packing list, what to wear, snack ideas, meal prep stuff. So really, you know, you can just <laughs> decide to go to a campsite, put in the mileage, develop the route and invite people. Um, I highly recommend after you register your ride to check out ACA's resources so that you can um, prepare for what I would call the pre-trip meeting, which I believe is also a suggestion in ACA's materials. Um, it's a great way to get to know the riders. It helps to sort of, if you have folks who are newer, obviously if you're going with friends, that's helpful too. But for newer folks, I think it helps to address any concerns prior to if you're gear sharing or folks don't know what to bring for to cook and that kind of thing. Um, I usually host mine at a brewery near my house um, and allow, allow folks to get comfortable in advance of the trip. So I think that's the, the gist. Um, and I think the next, the next section is sort of resources, tips and ideas. Yeah, thanks, Devin. We're, um... I think we'll, we'll jump around a little bit, but um, I think um, Corinne, if, if you don't mind talking about um, after, so we've talked about registering for a ride, um, or we talk about um, your experience with, with joining your first ride this year. Yeah, yeah, I um, didn't raise my hand when you asked the question, but this will be my first year uh, signing up as a participant. Um, I will uh, say that the glamping trip I did with Devin was definitely the way to do it. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, it's nice to be out in the back country with only your necessities, but it is very nice to have luxury items. Um, so for uh, this example, um, essentially I, I just selected on the main bike travel weekend page, join an existing trip. So um, let's just say we're, uh, I, you know, went to um, the Atlanta, Georgia area, scrolled through each ride and found this one um, that Devin, uh, that Devin would be hosting. Um, so I'm reading the description essentially as a, as a first time rider, um, a first time participant, and I'm looking to ride about under 40 miles each day. I'd prefer to ride Saturday, Sunday, since I don't wanna take off work Friday. Um, and this ride description is, is pretty great because it tells me the start point, um, mileage for each day, the style of terrain I can expect to ride and for how long. So um, that gives me information about, you know, what bike I have. Um, it also describes the views, what to look forward to, as well as lo logistics when it comes to food, cost of a campsite, style of camping, um, all things that I would need to be prepared for. Um, and so once I found a ride that works for me, let's say this one, um, I would simply plug in all of the information that is uh, prompted in the spaces on the right. Um, so email address, first name, last name, just all of this information here. Um, if I have any comments or questions, and um, what I love is this little check mark here that says, send me tips on how to get ready for bike travel weekend. Again, as a first time participant, this is super helpful. Um, so I essentially just filled out all of this information and hit the submit button. Um, so in my recent sign up for this year, I actually received an introduction email from the ride leader uh, the following day uh, with helpful information that I needed to prepare for the trip. And this was all stuff that he had gathered from Adventure Cycling's um, website on, um, on great resources. So uh, it was just a really simple process uh, because of all of the information up front um, and because of all of the access to these resources, I immediately felt confident that this was a ride that I could do um, 
even having not met the majority of folks that are going to be on the ride with me. Um, so I essentially just signed up and, and now I can just get excited for the trip and uh, know what I need to prepare for it. So it was pretty great. Um, so yeah, with all of that, I'll, I'll pass it back to you, Cliff. I did want to mention that um, I forgot to say this. After you submit your ride, you'll receive a confirmation email. And I actually realized that I'd forgot to add a couple of, um, I just wanted to note that there were snack stops along the way in case folks weren't experienced in packing snacks on their bike for a um, for uh, rides. And so um, in the confirmation email you receive, you can click on um, one of the links there to go back to your ride. And there are some buttons on the bottom that um, allow you to edit the ride um, and you can update any information you want. Um, so just wanted to note that as well. It's pretty user-friendly. Cliff? Yeah, thank you. So I just wanted to go back to the, um, uh, the Join a Bike Travel Weekend trip page. Um, some of you, if you're not familiar with it, I think we, a lot of the, um, the folks who are in the audience have never been on a ride before. So I just wanted to highlight a couple of the, um, the great features with, with this page. So it's just the bike travel weekend and you click to join a, a bike travel weekend trip. And so if you're in an area um, that weekend, you're traveling or you, know, you just want to see what's going on in your backyard um, and see where the rides are. It's very interactive. So you can see um, the different uh, different rides in different areas. Um, note is the so the kind of the hollow um, thumbtack here. That's th those are all the public rides, and the ones that are not public um, are the darker colored ones that are that are kind of closed. And so right now we have 361 registered bike travel weekend trips with over 2,500 people uh, riders riding. So it's great. Um, and it's growing every day. So it's nice to see that that. Um, more people are, are participating and, and getting signed up. So um, if you want to toggle back and forth between public and private, there's a show only public rides, you click that and it just shows the, uh, the public rides on the map. And so if you don't see something in your area, um, keep checking back um, or uh, if you feel up to it, um, you know, register your own ride. And um, there's some, some great tips uh, on that we'll, we'll get into here. As we go through, but if you just if you don't want to use the map, um, you can always go down here and look by by state. And uh, so I think we had a number of people from California. So it looks like we have a number of of rides going there. So if we go back up to the map, you just drag this over and uh, click on wherever you're at in California. And that shows we go back up to show all rides. So there, there's quite a few there. And, and even the, the private rides, um, you can even um, connect with, with those ride leaders and uh, get signed up. Um, and maybe the, the, they could possibly open that ride to you, but um, you know, that, that's one option uh, to do that or just join one of the, the public rides. Um, looking at the chat, looks like we have a question. It says not open to the public, does that mean it is private? Yes, uh, that means those are private rides. If the, um, it says not open to the public. So those are some smaller rides that, um, uh, or, or just, you know, closed because of maybe logistics and, and limitations on, let's say the campground or the hotel where you're glamping, maybe. Um, so, great. Um, Devin, looks like we had a couple questions. How many folks usually participate in Bike Travel Weekend? I think it varies. Um, Year to year, last year, because of um, COVID-19, Venture Cycling combined Bike Travel Weekend and Bike Your Park Day um, into one ride um, or, or one event in September instead of two separate ones. Um, and I'm not sure about the, the year before, how many riders um, and how many trips that we had offhand, even might, might know, but I'm not sure offhand. All right. Okay, I'm just monitoring the, the chat here. Okay, so Eva says about usually about 900 plus trips. So we're down a little bit this year um, so far, but you know, we, can, we can change that and there's still time to register. I think some people are maybe still on the fence and um, that's why we're doing this event is, is to encourage people to, uh, to get out and register their own rides or, or join others. So 
Um, and if you have questions, I mentioned one of the other um, great things about um, adventure cycling is they really encourage a program called the ambassador program where um, experienced um, cyclists and folks who've done um, adventure cycling in, in overnight uh, trips um, have, have signed on to be kind of ambassadors and, and uh, help um, promote and um, and share share the uh, the love of cycling with with others. So you you can connect with other ambassadors uh, in your area. And there's there's some information here. So it's just over here ambassador program. Just click on that. So there's there's some great resources there uh, as well. Um, some other things I wanted to share with you is uh, ways to promote your your ride. So you've gone in and, and created your ride, like like Devin has, has created her ride. So um, her trip. So what what next? How do you how do you get the word out? So you're not out just just kind of riding by yourself. But you if you want to get more people involved uh, in your ride, there's some excellent resources that Adventure Cycling has put together uh, to help you promote uh, bike travel weekends, including you know hashtags for social media. Um, there's the website, um, some different photos and graphics. Uh, even social media posts, you know, Facebook events. There's uh, even sample posters and flyers that you can download and print out and hang up in your workplace or the gym or you know the local bike shop um, that will allow uh, you to, to kind of promote your ride. There's press releases, so there's definitely some resources here uh, for you to um, to share your ride uh, as you as you get that that going. So. Um, Next thing I wanted to talk about is uh, some ideas uh, to help you with, with your ride to get started. Um, Devin mentioned this earlier about uh, the different um, resources that are available that, uh, that will help you along the way with everything from gear to um, you know, food preparation and pre-maintenance tune-ups and trip planning. So all of the resources are, are right here at your fingertips. And again, they're they're right on the, uh, the right side of the, the website. So if you haven't um, kind of clicked around and spent some time on the Adventure Cycling Association website, um, I encourage you to do that because it's a great resource um, for not only for bike travel weekend, but for any time uh, that you are, are planning uh, a cycling adventure. So do you have any questions so far? I think I wanted to ask, and maybe Eva can answer this, I forget. Once you register your ride, I think you do get a unique link that you can share with people um, to have them sign up. So say you do a ride and you want to invite five of your friends, you can just send them the link directly to sign up for your specific one. Is that right, Cliff? Yes. Okay. You, you get a specific link. And the, actually, that's a great segue to the next topic because everyone who registers for Bike Travel Weekend um, is registered to win a co-motion Americano bike. And so the deadline for that is coming up um, on May 30th. So if you um, register, trip leaders can get extra entries for each person who signs up for their trip. So there's a little incentive there to, uh, uh, to publicize your, your trip and, and really get the, the word out there and more people to sign up for, for your ride. So um, that's a great resource as well. And so uh, good luck to all of you who, who register and you can get win the bike. All right. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was um, uh, something that just came out on, on the uh, mail, email today. The um, Adventure Cycling Association is having a 10% off sale this weekend. So if you're looking for gear and uh, looking you know, for maps or anything you need to, to help you with your, uh, your planning um, and, and just for your, your riding you know, season this year, 10% off uh, everything using this code here on the website. So that's another another great incentive to uh, uh, you know, to offer to you as, as you plan. So that's kind of the gist of um, what we were going to talk about tonight. Just a real um, you know kind of quick and easy just information session about um, the you know the importance and the value of, of registering or joining a ride. So I think from when we first started the some of uh, the comments about um, many of you this is your first time. Um, uh, registering or, or participating possibly in Bike Travel Weekend and uh, hope that we've provided uh, the details and information that you need and uh, got you excited about your own trip 
or joining another uh, trip that's out there. Are there any questions at this point? Clifford, are we still giving out patches for folks who sign up? Yes, glad you said that. I, I was gonna hold these up, but- um, Oh, sorry, I decorate my bike packing bags with patches. So I wanted to make sure I could get a patch still. Okay, so the, the first 250 uh, trips that um, were registered received a really nice bike travel weekend uh, patch. Um, but these are also available on the website. And then everyone who registered to participate will get a sticker. Make sure we get that. So really nice sticker with the, the logo. And then I think it's not on the bottom of this page. It's on the bottom here. Nope. So on one of these pages. So I'm trying to find the, uh, the there's one page I saw that had the t-shirts um, also, but there's a bunch of bike travel weekend branded um, t-shirts and socks and, and patches and stickers and who doesn't love patches and stickers, right? So uh, these are all available on the site. But again, everyone who participates in bike travel weekend will, will receive a sticker for their participation. So um, that's a ni nice little, little perk as well. So there's a question from James on in the chat. It says, so would an overnight ride that is a loop from my home and staying at home qualify for the bike travel weekend? Uh, James, that's a great question. And, and yes, absolutely. If that's your, your adventure, if you're, you're staying at home and just riding different loops and um, if you have friends joining you, um, that's actually uh, the way I did it last year with um, when we combined bike travel weekend and bike your park day with, uh, with COVID. Um, I had a couple of friends come over and we did a couple of loops um, on the Eastern Trail, which is part of the East Coast Greenway. And we did, and we just came back to, to my place and um, barbecued and, and uh, stayed overnight, but that we made that our adventure uh, for the weekend. We rode different routes. So if that's your, your plan and you, you haven't registered yet, um, you can absolutely register that as your, uh, your adventure for that weekend. Do we have any other questions? So Cliff, uh, this is uh, Jim from your uh, uh, from your old hometown of Wells, Maine. And oh, hi, just Jim. Mentioned, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you just you just mentioned the Eastern Trail, which uh, most of the rides when I ride out of my house, I, I I'm either on it or cross it or something. You know how that works up here. But I just wanted to say hello. If it was light outside, I'd. Uh, bring the camera to the window so you could take a look at beautiful Wells, Maine. But it's dark out now. Jim, we're going to have to connect because I think I'm going to be home uh, for a, a, about a week or so next next month. I'm going to come home and ride the Eastern Trail. So um, got, got some good friends there, the Saco River Riders. Look them up on Facebook. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they haven't yeah. registered a ride yet, and I've, I've been trying to get them to do it. But maybe you can, you can reach out and encourage them. Yeah. So... <laughs> About when would that be? Because I might be on the road on a tour um, in in June. Is that going to be? Yeah, I think the third week of June. But I by might the time I get there, I'm doing a couple adventures on the way. I think I might be back by the third week of June. Oh, no, I won't. No, third week of June, I'll be on the road. So right. I'm, I'm I'll going to email. This time, Cliff. Another day. Sounds good. Thanks, Jim. All right. Well, um, the next thing I wanted to, to just mention is our Bike Travel Weekend Facebook page. So if, if those of you who are on, on Facebook and use social media, um, we have a Bike Travel Weekend uh, Facebook group with about 1,500 um, members there that you know, post questions and ideas and love to share pictures and ideas. <laughs> but we have a, um, I've got a poll up and running right now. So our next virtual event is going to be on uh, Thursday, May 27th, same time. Um, I will send all of you uh, the link to register for that one. And we're doing a poll right now about topics to, uh, to chat about and that, that riders want to learn more about as we um, all prepare for Bike Travel Weekend. So it looks like right now uh, selecting a gear uh, for, for bike overnights is, is the, the winner of the, um, the poll right now. Is That one's in the lead, but that could change. Um, but that, that event is actually going to be um, I'm going to uh, present that along with uh, with Devin and uh, a, a longtime um, Adventure Cycling Association trips leader, uh, Joe Ryman Snyder. So he's going to join us as well. And, and he's presented before and he's been a, a long time 
um, trip leader, uh, tours leader for adventure cycling. So some of you may may know him, but um, uh, we're all going to present again uh, on the 27th on another event just to help um, uh, everyone who's participating in Bike Travel Weekend um, get a little more knowledge around some of the, the thoughts and ideas that um, that they have around Bike Travel Weekend. So there's there's lots of topics there, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's it so far. And there's uh, here's the link for that. Um, I will post that in the chat if any of you are interested. Do that real quick. And share that. So at this point, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. All right. So I hope this was informative. I wanna thank um, Devin and Karina for uh, for co-hosting tonight and uh, presenting. Really appreciate your, your input and, uh, and information that you provided and wanna say thanks to everyone for participating. I hope we've, um, we've given you enough information and uh, got you excited about Bike Travel Weekend and that you will go ahead and click the links that we shared tonight and either register your own ride or uh, join uh, a ride that is already underway. So those of you, I think um, Steve, you talked about being up in your area and up in Canada. If uh, you know there's there's not one up there, um, go ahead and create one, and we'll be able to, to help you out with um, information and and tips and all the things you need to get started. So um, yeah, I see that there's uh, three rides that are within 60 miles of us up here, but uh, they're all private groups, and I'm sure that's because um, uh, we have a little different approach to COVID than you guys down there. We're still <laughs> in lockdown. We have a stay-at-home order still in Ontario. Oh, okay. So, and they, they actually extended it today until June the 2nd. So um, I'm sure that's why these groups are private, uh, you know, because it's, uh, you're, spo you're not supposed to mingle with anyone that's outside your household. So um, that, I challenges. just, I just, yeah. So um, yeah, based on that, uh, probably looks like we'll be doing something next year now. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Steve Schirmerhorn, I think you had a question. Thank you, Cliff. Um, I had a question that's back on the Adventure Cycling Association website. I found two public rides that are of interest. And one of the rides looks like it's a mountain bike ride. So I have a, a sense uh, I'd be taking care of my own uh, camping, which is, is great. But the other ride I saw is a road ride, and there's there's no comments at all about what accommodations might be like. So then I'm thinking I would like to ask the organizer about that kind of thing. And I'm seeing the comment and question box in the join this trip. Is that the way to talk to the organizer? Um, yeah, that's one way. The other way is um, you can reach out and I can get you connected with the ride leader directly. If you have specific questions, you can do that as well, so. Okay, great, I'll be in touch, thank you. Okay. All right, Devin, Karina, do you have anything you wanna, you wanna add before we, we sign off? No, I'm good, thank you. Um, I saw Devin had actually made a comment in the chat, so I don't know if you wanted to. Oh. I yeah, I just wanted to confirm where this recording would be, would live so that folks could find it later. Cause I know that a lot of folks registered to join but probably couldn't because you know, Zoom fatigue and all of that. Um, so wondering where this would be for future viewing. Thanks. That's, that's a, a great question. Um, I'm going to send this to uh, to our team and, and have it uh, uh, record the recording sent and, and put up on our uh, the Adventure Cycling Association's YouTube channel. And then we're also, uh, I'm going to send that link to everyone who registered uh, that could make it tonight. It'll be shared on social media and we're going to use it in a couple of the, um, the upcoming uh, emails to uh, to interested riders and in uh, kind of the network. So it will be shared again. It'll be on the Facebook page as well. So. Thanks. Yep. Thanks everyone for joining. Yeah, thanks everyone. Have a good evening. Great, thank you. All right, take care.